So we really wanted to think, what are some behaviors that might capture aspects of an individual chimp's personality? And one of the things that really stood out and stands out in the human literature is playfulness as a measure of an individual's temperament and personality. And we realized we had decades of data on play behavior. I'm Dr. Zareen Machanda. I'm a professor here at Tufts in anthropology and biology. And I'm also one of the directors of the Kibali Chimpanzee Project. It's a 37-year study of the behavior of the Kanyuara chimps who live in Kibali National Park. Every single day, we have a team of incredible Ugandan field assistants wake up in the morning, get to the chimps before they wake up, and they spend the entire day with them recording every single thing that those chimps do from the minute they wake up to the minute they go to sleep. And we got these kind of interesting results that play was seasonal, that play behavior was less likely to be observed when food was poor. How often adults are playing is really dependent on what their diet is like. So the better their diet is, the more likely they are to be involved in play. And the worse their diet is, you know, the more quickly play falls out. This was true for all types of adult play. Uh, you know, adults playing with each other, adults playing with younger individuals, uh, except for moms playing with their own offspring. But what we actually found is that during those times of low food availability, it was the moms that kept playing. And so what we sort of think is happening is that there's a trade-off there. Probably a kind of important ben benefit, and this is true for humans, is just the development of motor control. So we know in some studies that baby primates that play more actually kind of hit motor milestones faster than others. But there are some other studies in primates that seem to suggest that maybe they're also developing some social skills. Because this is play that is persisting, even when, you know, food is rough and uh, you know it's a little bit tough to get everything that you need energetically that's you know really underscoring how important this type of play is or at least how important play is developmentally right when mothers are playing with their babies they're more likely to do that when food is low compared to all these other females it's an energetic cost to the mom but benefit is probably a long-term benefit that if they take on this cost their baby develops better motor skills, potentially better social skills, ends up being a high-ranking individual, has you know, increased reproductive success. But they're, they're playing a long game here, right? You know, I have seen mother chimps just kind of like lie on the ground and you know, their kids are jumping on them and they just want a nap. And I, I feel this deep resonance with what they must be going through. But I think my training as a primatologist has actually made me a better parent as well.